Hello, welcome back to another episode of MTD CNC North America. Today I am at Methods in Michigan and I'm with my buddy Jeremy. As you can see, we're looking at another Nakamura, but this one might look a little bit different to you guys. I don't see a bar feeder on the back and I see a gantry on the top. So we're gonna learn from Jeremy today a little bit about the benefits of going to this gantry style system. So Jeremy, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. Thank you for, for inviting me. Oh, it's, a, it's an absolute pleasure. So let's get right into it, my friend. Gantry style system. Usually we see the bar feed. What are some of the benefits of this? Well, you can not only have the gantry system, you can still have a bar feeder. Um, this gantry system is capable of uh, a left side extended that, that you see here, a what they call pass through. So this gantry system can move over or shift to the right side. So you can pick up raw material on the left side, do your machining, unload your finished material on the right side, or you can shift it all the way to the right, still have your bar feeder and run blanks or larger larger material that your, your spindle or through capacity doesn't handle in a blank form and you can load from the right side in and out process complete and then unload on the right side as well. Or you could simply bar feed your raw material, do your machining and this would act very similar to a parts catcher G and unload your material. Well what I'm gathering from this Jeremy is that pretty flexible right? This allows us to do multiple projects at one time when well, you said we can add a bar feed sure we can maybe add something that'll measure the parts when it comes off and a robot on the other side but we also have this gantry on top which allows for maybe a smaller footprint for a lot of people who are struggling with real estate absolutely um, it's a good uh, entry in my opinion entry level automation system uh, a lot of people are afraid of those little yellow guys that are typically mounted to the floor or mounted somewhere else and they they fly around. This is all integrated right into the control. Um, you, you simply move it with a pendant to where you want, record, and you're already programmed. So it's, it's very flexible. You can set up, like you said, multiple different jobs, a bar feed job, or maybe different blank sizes. Um, you could have different types of incoming conveyors or stockers or um, pretty much sky's the limit. Well, we're doing everything we can to reduce that fear of, you know, those those yellow guys, as you said. That we know who we're all talking about there. But what are some of the benefits when it comes as an all-in-one? Because this is all produced by Nakamura, right? What are some of those benefits? Correct. Um, well, one, you're getting, you know, the same same control. Um, you, you control the the automation right through the the control of the machine. Um, it's all integrated. All the parts come from the same place. All built together. Um, you're, you're not installing the machine, then installing the automation on top. Um, it's, it's all built right into the casting, all machined at one place. Uh, so you know the quality of the machine is the same quality within the gantry. Yeah, that makes sense. And we have a lot of high quality with a lot of the co you know accessories out there, including the Fanuc robots. But to me, if I'm a customer and you're selling this Nakamura to me and you say, hey, I have a machine with a built-in gantry that can do a bar feed where we can maybe, you know, test the measurement or the precision of the components as they come off the machine and it all comes more or less from the same place, then you've also told me, well, you have one place for service, one place for support, one place for sales, and I don't have to go to a multiple different people if, if something goes wrong, which is very rare on a Nakamura machine. Yeah, yes, that you are correct. If something goes wrong, um, they are extremely reliable, um, extremely robust. A lot of the features that you get within the machine itself, uh, the soft load monitoring, the um, soft push, all of those NT navigator, NT nurse functions, you have within the gantry as well. So um, Nakamura has done a great job with building and developing their automation systems just just like their machines. So um, if you're, like I said, you're doing some type of soft push, you don't need um, expensive additional options on the machine for part sensing, uh, to, to verify that you've got a part loaded, you can do it all within the gantry. I think that's worth emphasizing again, to be honest. For our folks out there who are listening right now, everything you just said about it kind of being one system, coming from the same quality and precision and accuracy that we've come to know, love, and trust on the Nakamura, it's all one. This is not separate entities, right? This is all one. Correct, it's all one. The same 
Uh, same G codes that you use within the machine, you're using those same G code functions. It's not a different function, it's the same exact function, programmed the same way, so you don't need to learn or uh, know a different style of programming. You go to a FANUC robot or any, any robot, in fact, it's got a slightly different language that it's programming in, where this is all programmed in the same, same language. Well, looking at this Gantry machine, knowing the bar feeders that I've seen plenty of times before talking with you today, Jeremy, I understand this machine to be precise, very rigid, lights out, repeatable, which is also precise, but it repeats over and over again, meaning when I check my first part, unless something crazy happens inside the machine, when I check my last part, they're going to be all the same that goes in between. So when I'm looking at this gantry, I get kind of excited being able to add that. But what industries do you think value and benefit most from this style of machine? Um, uh, we, we deal a lot with the automotive industry. Um, we deal with the medical industry, the aerospace industry, um, some of the defense. Uh, so you can put um, not only round um, material in this, in this machine, you can put hex material, you could put square material, you don't, um, it, you can put whatever shape you want. Um, you're not limited to just bar. And I think that's also important to bring up, guys, because something great about this Nakamura is the ability to do milling, right? And that gives you the added benefit of machining other style parts. Absolutely. This, this particular platform, upper turret, lower turret, Y-axis on both upper turret and lower turret, um, so that gives you the ability to you know, do holes or, or features off center um, with either turret on either spindle. I had a friend tell me the other day, running a Nakamura machine at the outdoor group, so there's a shout out to you guys, I will never buy another lathe without a Y axis. A lot of customers say that. Um, once they, they, they purchase their first Nakamura, Y axis or not, um, they typically stay with the Nakamura. Uh, they're they're a, a, one of the best quality machines that I've, I've ever worked on, so. Well, Jeremy, I have a good friend of mine, Sean, who I interviewed recently, who bought 12 of these in a year and a half. Can a gantry go on any Nakamura? The gantry systems can go on the WI platform, obviously, uh, the WT platform, which is very similar, just uh, single Y axis available on the upper, can go on the NTY, three turret platform, can go on the SC series, which is the single spindle uh, or, or twin spindle platform, and also on the B-axis milling spindle platform machines. Well, Jeremy, I appreciate you educating me on this specific machine. Nakamura is very well known for everything that we've discussed so far, but learning a bit more about this, the industry it's in, I appreciate you sharing your wisdom with me and with our audience around the world with MTD. Thank you.